You know, when I was growing up, I remember how fearful I was to walk in darkness. A place like our town that has no electricity, no street lights, and there were times that I walked in darkness with nothing to brighten my way at all. Sometimes I stumble and fall or hit a hard object with my toes that would leave me in pain. Usually bad things happen at night. Predators like wild animals. And also bad people usually attack when it is dark. Well, the Bible talks about a different kind of darkness. John 3 verse 19 says, and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. This world we live in is darkened with envy, lust, immorality, greed, selfishness, hatred, injustice, and the list goes on and on and on. And try to look around and maybe it's happening in your own neighborhood, or closer than that, at your own home. Yet you feel powerless and cannot do anything to prevent all of this from happening. Well, not at all. And don't lose hope because the Bible has a guide and a way by which we can make our own community a happier and a much peaceful place to live. John 8 verse 12 proclaims, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. We may have no power to eliminate darkness, but in essence, when we follow his footsteps, we would have the light of life, and that selfish heart would become unselfish. Greediness will disappear and is replaced by generosity. Instead of injustice, there will be fairness, and hatred will turn into love. So when you meet people today, maybe your parents, your spouse, your children, and maybe anyone you get in contact with, and you're challenged by a difficult situation, may you be able to share the light of life. I know it's not easy when we are confronted by many circumstances, but Jesus, the light of the world, would enable you to give kindness even to the people that intentionally hurt you, to be unselfish in helping others, when opportunity prompts you to give love to those who oppress you. When that happens, then your world would turn brighter and you'll discover that your life would be happier than ever. Why not follow Jesus, the light of the world, and allow him to shine through you in good times, even in tough times? Join us again next time and let's continue to be inspired by the living word.